<laughs> Why do you always do this? Because it's fun. What's up, everyone? I'm back in the garage working on the old Elko. So, uh, as you saw in the last video, we got the motor pulled. My good buddy Owen's here. What's up? Kind of helping out, kind of just sitting here, and we're just kind of drinking beer and doing things a little bit at a time. What's going on right now is, uh, yeah, we got the motor mounts off. Uh, I think that was the alternator bracket and uh, water pump and uh, hit them with the wire wheel, clean them all up. Gonna gonna gloss these two, the bracket and the water pump. Gonna gloss them. Gonna leave the motor mounts flat and then gonna bolt them onto the new motor. And uh, so here's the old motor, like you saw in the last video, already pulled out and everything. Uh, I don't know if I need this pull. I think I do because they're you know, that motor's out of a. C30, and this is out of an El Camino, and uh, all the, gotta take that bracket off too and actually clean that up. So all the accessories are gonna be kind of motor specific, or car specific rather. So I'll take these off, clean them up, shoot them with some spray paint, clean, make it, make it, make everything look nice and shiny and pretty. But uh, yeah, so. Uh, you're doing the oil pan? Oh yeah. So uh, the oil pan, as you can see, this oil pan out of a truck, so it's a little bigger and this oil pan is out of a El Truco, so it's not as big. So I gotta drink that oil pan off too. I'll clean that up and paint it a nice flat black and then put it on there. Unfortunately, my dad already cleaned this motor up, but we both didn't know what was gonna happen, what oil pans were gonna fit or not. So that's how it is. But uh here's a uh, sprayed some uh degreaser in there and tried to clean it up. And it did a pretty good job. I was going to use the pressure washer, but the pressure washer uh, gun ended up being shot. So I got to go run and pick one up tomorrow. And I'm going to shoot everything again with the pressure washer and more degreaser. But just with the regular garden hose, it cleaned up pretty well. So good. tomorrow morning, I'm going to clean it up again and start shooting all that with paint. Take out, you know, my emissions BS and my AC BS and stuff I don't need. Clean out the engine bay pretty good. My good buddy Owen's here. Help me out. Drinking beer together. There we go. Yeah, but another day, another beer. Hell yeah. But uh, so yeah, that's where we're at right now. Uh, and we're just kind of sitting here, BSing, picking stuff apart as we do it, thinking about what to do, and uh, we're gonna keep on doing it, and uh, we'll keep you guys uh posted on how we work out. Get that right now. So brackets out, I'll set the bolts up back here. You know, clean the bolts up later. But we get the bracket, and you see it's not rusty, it's just, you know, good. Fuck. <laughs> Got coats of paint on it, so. You bring it over here. Take the old wire wheel. You just kinda. Hey, I got a 10 hour OSHA card and I approve this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they gotta make it known. It's OSHA approved. But yeah, like, like I said, it's not rusty or nothing. So we're just kind of going over, scuffing up the paint, hitting the spots that uh, bolts were in, trying to make the the area nice and even. So when we put a coat of paint on it, it all looks pretty good. Cool. We'll call that about good. So uh, what I've been doing is uh, once I grind it. Get a little bit of brake clean, clean off all that dust, and simply wipe it down. Now, painters, engine builders, whoever are probably going to say how I'm doing this wrong, and I don't care because, for one, I don't care, and for two, this is simply a bracket. I believe this is for the power steering pump, if I remember correctly, or something like that. So. You know, it's, it, I'm not I'm not doing a paint job on the body panels. I'm not 
and making it SEMA beautiful, something like that. I'm just sharpening it up, making it a little prettier here and there where I can. And uh, yeah, that's how I'm doing it. So uh, yeah, so now we got a piece ready to paint. I'm gonna take it over here on our chunk of plywood that's not really doing anything at this point because we've got so many dang things on it. Yeah. Move water bottle right now. All right, down that channel. Oh, yeah. Man. Just real light coat. And then, like I said, I'm gonna gloss this, I'm gonna gloss that, I'm gonna gloss that. Leave these flat. Uh, these are probably, these are pretty much ready to bolt on, actually. Yeah, I reckon they're pretty dry enough by now. You missed a spot. Oh, I missed a spot. Owen took the task upon himself to paint these. He did a pretty good job other than missing a spot. Hey, I haven't painted in years, man. That's an excuse. Shit, you work. <laughs> I haven't painted in years. Since high school. <laughs> Since high school. Been too busy stacking beads to paint. <laughs> so story time. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> it would have been my junior year of high school. My good buddy Owen that's holding the, the camera right now. Howdy. <laughs> yeah. Him and uh, my buddy Tanner Bell, it's a, in the last video, uh, pretty much every Friday night we would be <laughs> in this garage, in my father's garage, and we'd be working on my truck, working on this or that, just, you know, hanging out. We'd order a pizza, and just ranching. And uh, so my dad is like the fix-it man for the town, the little small town I live in, or my, I'm from. And uh, so when he's out of town, you know, I, he usually tasked me to do things. And uh, there was this mower deck someone wanted. Uh, oh. so, uh, some rusty spots <laughs> repaired. And, I remember uh, this. So I'm like, yeah, no problem. Like, I can weld, whatever. <laughs> 16, 17 years old. And uh, at the time, Owen was an aspiring welder. Yeah. Uh, getting ready to go to school for it and everything like that. <laughs> and so, we have a deck. Late Friday night, 10, 11 p.m. Just like tonight, even though tonight's a Tuesday. And, yep. Uh, but yeah, I'm laying some beads, welding this thing up. And I was like, hey, man, let me try it. I'm like, all right, whatever. Hand him the, hand him the welder. And, you know, Owen laying pretty good beads, you know. At the time, Owen wasn't a trained welder. He just no. aspired to be. And I was, I, I, I was never, an auto body and I knew how to barely spot weld. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was never a trained welder. I was never trained other than my father saying, hey, this is how you weld. Never went to school for it. Not saying I'm a good welder, but I can make two pieces of steel hold together. So I weld it. Owen welds it. And uh, ever since then, Owen's always bragged about how good he can weld. He's like, man, my beads, <laughs> this and that. Like, remember that mower deck back in 2017? <laughs> but anyway, so that's story time. So, you know, whenever you see Owen in videos, he's going to bring up how he's a welder. And, and he is a welder at this point, you know. Four years have gone by. He's went to school. He's went went to trade school, learned how to weld, and got jobs welding. And he's a great welder at this point. But he still likes to bring up that point four years ago when we were all 17, 16, 18. In my father's garage. Oh, hey, at that point, too. Doors. Yeah, at that point, too, I had the idea to weld that quarter or that half inch thick plate on the Tanner's muffler on the Blue Goose <laughs> with the stick welder. <laughs> While we're doing story time, <laughs> my buddy Tanner. He can tell you more about this truck. <laughs> my buddy Tanner had a truck. It was, it was like an 03 F 150. Something like that. And it was blue, single cap long bed. Called it the Blue Goose. Muffler was rusted out. Uh, and uh, another Friday night in high school, of course. We were here. And, uh, well, he didn't want to buy a new muffler because 
you know, that's stupid. And I had some sheet metal in her. I was like, hey, man, why don't we just try to <laughs> weld the muffler back together? So <laughs> we, that night we all took our turns at it, starting with sheet metal. <laughs> and uh, I started welding, and Tanner's like, let me try it. He tried to make some beads, and then Owen found some. So we're welding a muffler here. It's literal sheet metal. And Owen found some quarter-inch steel. And he's like, hey, man, let me just... <laughs> but in the end, we did get the muffler welded. And uh, definitely not a perfect job, but it was quieter than uh, it was prior to it pulling in the garage. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so back to the program here. Yeah, back to our regular scheduled back program. Back to our regular scheduled program. So tomorrow, we're going to have to go pick up some gloss. Got to go into town to the local Walmart. Yep. <laughs> okay. So the reason we're mountain boys, or... Er, <laughs> the reason we're mountain motorsports mayhem is because we live on what they call the mountain. And they call it the mountain because we're at, what, 2,400 feet elevation-ish? Something like Something that. Something like that. And the high school we went to was down <clears throat> off the mountain, which was, you know, like a 1,000 feet less than that. For me to drive to high school, I'd be going downhill for The entirety of it. <laughs> and then I'd go uphill for eight miles to get back home. So we're called the mountain. And, well, you know, this is focused around me and my good buddies, Owen, Tanner, and a few other boys you'll see in other videos. And you know we're we're from the mountain, so and then we're focused around motors and uh, cars and trucks and tractors and whatnot. It's so mountain motorsports, and it's not necessarily us just working on things. We're not you know telling you how to change your brakes or how to pull a motor or this or that. It's just us doing stuff, and usually it's gonna probably end up in us doing burnouts and uh, blowing engines and uh, wrecking five hundred dollar cars because we wanted to see how far we can jump them. <laughs> which hopefully will be in a video pretty shortly as soon as we can, you know, source a automobile of that stature. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, that's where the name came from. And, uh, I couldn't think of a better name. So yeah, that's the name. I... Hey, if it works, it works. It might change here in the next few videos if I think of something better. But, uh, so yeah, anyway. There's story time. There's where the name came from. There's how Owen brags about being a welder. And, hey, I uh, got the Pearl Snap shirt too. I got the Pearl Snap jean shirt. I wear it at work. <laughs> I hate them. <laughs> but we're going to be here uh, spray painting things and uh, keep you guys posted as we uh, get along. So, uh, yeah, see you in a little bit. Good. Cool. Been tell Alexa quiet down because she was playing music and uh, don't want no copyright infringement nonsense against me. No, don't want none of that. Anyway, so uh, where are we? So uh, like I stated before, this is the new motor. I was kind of mocking up what it looked like with the EFI and uh, the intake that I still need to get cleaned up. But uh, pull this on. And, uh, so this motor, some guy had a junk the C30 pickup. And he told my father, he said, hey, you come get this thing out of my yard and you can have it. Frame rusted in half and everything. Well, dad got the motor running, which is this motor. Started up, drove on the trailer. So, uh, we were planning for it to go in my, uh, MG, my drag car. And then, uh, I got the El Camino. We're like, ah, put it in the El Camino. So, uh, yeah, so... Uh, while well, I was uh, gone on a work trip for a couple months, I bought all the parts for dad to rebuild this. And uh, this is how far he got. And uh, if you look here, you can see this push rod. And you put more at the top there. And as you spin it, you can see it's uh, pretty bent. So, uh, we need new push rods. There's, you know, at least half of them, more than half of them are like that. So, uh, and I got the 305 here, so we're going to all learn something today because I have no clue if these are going to be the same size push rods as that motor. 
So, uh, yeah, so we're gonna learn real quick. Do a little alarm. Bit. Get that back in there. Get that nut back on there. Got the finesse. The finesse. So, here's two push rods. They don't look bad. Hmm. I mean, they got some carbon build up. What do you expect out of an old small block motor? So, we know for a fact that this one is good and this one is bad. So what we're going to do is take both of these out. Now I want to compare with the first one. Let's see if we are the same size. Looks about it. Looks about it. Call it the same size, but uh, one way to tell if you know you have two straight push rods, you just take your push rod to try and tell if it's bent or not. You give her a little and you watch it. So, obviously, this push rod's good. And then, you know, if I want to test that one, take it, roll it. That one looks good. Take that one. That one looks good. So I got good push rods here. And uh, they look to be approximately the same size. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. I reckon. Yeah, I can take these. And uh, input into the lifter. Input into the rocker. Put the nut on correctly. And uh, there we are. And that one, and that one, so I'll show you how you can see these are bent in the way I just tested them. So we know this one's bent, we know these two are straight. Take them, like so, and you roll them. You can see how fluffed up that one is. So, that one's jumped, this one's good. So you take that, put it in the hole, put it in the lifter, Put the rocker on it, tighten it up. Take your gun. Now, of course, I still need to adjust all the, adjust the valves, but uh, that'll be a whole other video, so. So, uh, yeah, now we know that, uh, at least out of that motor, those push rods are the same size as the push rods for this motor. So that saves me a few extra bucks of ordering new push rods as long as uh, enough of those are straight compared to the ones I need to replace. So, uh, that one's bent. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's that, and uh, see you in a minute. So uh, we're pretty much done for tonight. Uh, we got some good base coats on uh, the brackets, the pulley, the water pump. Tomorrow I have to run to the store and buy some gloss paint and uh, cover those make them nice and shiny. And uh, we got the motor mounts on the new motor, and as you can see, right here and right here. Then we're all pretty now and got them bolted on. So uh, that's done. And uh, so tomorrow I'm gonna finish cleaning up the engine bay. Of uh, that, I'm gonna paint the uh, paint those brackets and uh, the water pump. Get them painted up and uh, make them nice and glossy. Start bolting them onto the new motor. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for tonight. That's pretty much it for this video. So uh, thanks again for watching. For the four people that are gonna watch this, appreciate you guys. <laughs> Big shout out to my buddy Owen that's holding the camera right now for helping me out filming and being here, help work on it and whatnot. Hell yeah. And uh, see you guys on the next one.